Howdy everyone, and welcome back to Chaos and <laughs> the Black Shadow. Yep, we haven't even solved the losses, my murders, and, uh, well, it's happening again, everyone. Helen managing to survive, um, the, uh, the murders in the lab, everyone. But we got out alive, and that's what matters, you know? Yep. I can agree. I can agree. Got not a happy man. <laughs> wow. We're done questioning you for now. You can go home now, Teach. Well, thanks, gods. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. Great. Well, at least Jennifer's come along for comfort, so I guess that's good. But yeah, things are uh, not looking too good, everyone. But at least we know she's probably not crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. I mean, you're a police officer. You may to give benefit the doubt here. You don't know if it was the same one who attacked you before. Are you suggesting there might be more than one? Hmm. There's some food for thought. We must find some clues about the scissor man. We do agree. Well, I think we should probably start with just, like, getting back to our home and trying to, like, decompress everything that's occurred here. Seems like a, um, an idea which is not going to be accessible to us right now. Well, damn. And we ain't getting in here. I guess the scene seems to be over. Oh, we can just walk right back into the murder scene. But that's good. And we're just here just having a conversation. No. More importantly, can we use the room now? Yes, but we couldn't get in all morning because of the investigation, unsurprising. Oh, the statue. Um problem. He doesn't have it anymore. He did. We went to um, take it to this Rick fella. Nope, it's not here. And neither is Professor Barton. He's away on some police business. Well, shoot. Not going to be that easy, I'm afraid, Helen. Did he tell you he was taking it? He said he would either take him to the library or to a man named Rick. If he took it to the library, that would be Mr. Sullivan. Who is Rick? You mean you don't know who that is? Only Barton does. Okay. Well, we have our next destination, I guess. Hmm. Well... Things not looking too good. We will head to the library, but I want to have a bit of a look around beforehand. Uh, let's go visit uh, various locations before we do. That's clearly going to be our next main plot point is in the library. So let's have a little route around here. I'm assuming Jennifer will kind of be at the library whenever we get there. I'm going to guess, but I don't know. Bad things occurred. Bad things occurred. Helen, very suspicious. But if it's not the same person, or entity, or thing, then who would it be? Hmm. Did he just say he's in. Edward's gone to the library too? 
Probably not a good thing. All right, then. That's a good idea. Let's ask them. Let's ask Gots about who Rick may or may not be. That's good thinking. Let's go ahead and do that. Kinda. You know a man named Rick? <laughs> That's good. Could be a hundred Rick Ricks. He's the old geezer. He used to be the butler for the... Ah, yes, that's who um, Rick apparently was. Mm -hmm. He quit ten years before it all happened. I went to see him once. He didn't know anything. Well, shoot. Well? Russ Barton might have given the statue to him. That's a bit of a leap. But it makes sense. I see. And since you believe in Scissor Man, you want to get your hands on it too, of course. Well, we ain't got any other leads, do we? I can go and get it. Ooh. Nice. What I have to do is talk to Rick and get the statue. I mean, yes. Well, we know that Rick has it. Sure. Sure. I mean, if he's gonna if he's gonna offer his assistance, then I'm not gonna turn that down, everyone. I'm not gonna turn that down. Oh, we're actually gonna be playing as Stan. But before we do, so I just wanted to check out the library before we delve into this um, second scenario here and see what's going on with Sullivan and all this crazy stuff. See if there's any leads for us here before we maneuver on here. Wouldn't want to miss anything, you know. Howdy, my dear. Mr. Sullivan here? Oh. Oh, he's out. Well, that was worth the replaying of footage. All right, then. So, let's make our way to uh, Rick's house, I suppose, and uh, inquire about the statue. Oh, I see. Is that how it is? Yeah, you gotta tell me indeed. Yeah, any information? People are dying on the streets here, Rick. <laughs> nice little dog out there. Do you know a place, a castle called Barrows? Now, I don't think he's talking about the place in Oslo. I think he's talking of um, where they came from previously, I think. Yes, the castle in England. Before the Barrows family moved... I heard. Over 80 years ago. Hmm, interesting. Yep, dogs just, just staring at us out there. Kind of weird. A monster was once born there that terrorised the local children. Could it be? I'd always thought it a fairy tale. Well, what happened to the monster? He was killed by his father. His father was the head of the household of the 13th generation of Barrows. Simon? Do you know where the castle is? Dog, don't do this. I have enough problems with this in real life. Darn thing. What's the problem, eh? What's the voice acting? It's okay, boy. Spooked by something. What's the matter? It makes such a rise. Whoa! Jeez! What the hell? 
Oh. Um. Damn. Look at God's go shooting the damn guy. It's not working though. Oh shoot. So it seems he's immune to date to being freaking. Ah, jeez. Well, Guts, do you believe him now? Let's get the hell out of here. What the hell, everyone? Doc just murdered Rick. What was that about? All right, we need to find a. Uh, we gotta find a way to either escape or subdue this thing. chance to hide in here maybe I don't know it doesn't doesn't look very good to me it looks like we faded him I'll be honest, I didn't expect that to work. Like, not at all. So, Simon, are Jennifer and Helen still crazy? Or Gots, or not Simon. You know what I mean. Either way, yeah, he just shot Sizzman with, like, a handgun. And it did nothing. That's, um... That's a bad sign, kids. That's a very bad sign. Got some towels. I'm sure that'll be of uh, exceptional use to us. Jeez. What the hell happened to the old man? He should probably go back and have a look. We do indeed. Okay, so that's our exit point. Look at the dogs just suddenly just normal. Like, nothing at all. It's clear that um, this scissor man seems to have like some kind of like effect on certain beings and things around it. You know, like he was there. It is really the time. <laughs> can I drink more of that? Apparently I can. Well, good. Ah, But, like, they had the monitors, which went kind of crazy. And it, like, the dog, like, attacked his own damn owner when he was nearby. There's clearly some kind of uh, influence being, um, being cast here. We've got to find some information, though. See if we can get the lights on in here. Of course it has. Well, we're going to have to look around in the dark then. Nothing for it. Time to uh, time to inspect, sir. Something's written. We discovered a hint number eight. Well, that, um... We'll find these, these hints in all sorts of bizarre order, but whatever. A good... Good assessment there, sir. I can see your paycheck is well earned. We got a trash can. Nothing in there. Well, damn. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Strange looking mask here. Hmm. Hmm, that's not normal. Jeez, what the hell? I need a solution here. Um, get it? Yeah, many bad things are occurring, everyone. Many bad things are occurring. I don't know if we could have died there. It's possible. 
got a cooking utensil. Damn. Well, the problem is, Gots, like, I like your idea of looking for weapons. You just shot a fucking handgun magazine into the Sisman, and he didn't care. I don't know what weapon you're looking for. Like, a bazooka, maybe? There's something inside wrapped in foil. Don't think it's of any use to us here, though. No, it doesn't know there's anything we can do there. Okay, let's have a look around more, I suppose. I do notice there is something in the floor right there. I do spot that. We'll investigate in a moment. Sink's clean. <laughs> this is not the time, got. What a name is that, by the way. Got some garbage. There's clearly something down there. Oh! Whee! Yep, it's a trap. The jumps are not bad, I'll give them that. They, the game does a good job of doing them, like, pretty quickly. And out of nowhere, so fair play to them. Here comes. Right, we need to find something to, uh, either distract or defend ourselves. I assume this isn't going to work. No, nope, not anymore. Going up. Second floor. I have a feeling Gots doesn't believe in jumping down. He'd probably survive. His leg might not do too well afterwards, but hey. Aha! to give you, like, enough places to kind of hide around as you go. Like, they're all reasonably sort of obvious. So that's good. Alright, then. That's what we got to do. Just fade it as we go. But we will need to check that under thing there. It's definitely something interesting. Don't know what the hell this room is. This this clearly isn't, um, this clearly wasn't Rick's. His wife's, maybe? If I had to make, uh, a guess... <laughs> I I don't wish to make a comment on that. There's something up here as well. An alarm clock set for 6 a.m. Hmm. Where does this go? Ah, some outside decking. Maybe we can get into. Maybe we can, like we. Maybe it's possible that the other door was locked, perhaps. Damn. Okay, both entrances are locked currently. That's that's a shame. But it's good to know that's there. We might be. We might need that, folks. We might need this. All right, let's get back out here. Of course, the power's out, so we know that none of the uh, none of those are going to work. I think I checked. Yeah, yeah, nothing interesting. Nice lace, to be fair. I'd be happy with it. Right, let's get across here then. We've got to look for some clues as well. We're here for information as well. Is that what I think that is? A statue about 30 centimeters tall standing on the table. The demon idol. Mm hmm. We have the statue. I don't know if we want this or not, but we've got it. Lovely. Very 90s. I assume it won't work. Ah! A 
there's a secret. Something's written on the back. The location of the Barrow's Castle. All right. Well, nice. That is very important. A good find. Time for us to GDFO here. Cunning place to hide it. Good thinking, Rank. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, good. Give us a synopsis. There we go. And now we can get out here. Fire this way if we want. Okay, let's go ahead and I suppose we'll do so. I don't think there's anything else too much to do here. There might have been another couple of rooms for us to explore, though. Have a quick little look around and see if there's anything else I can find around here. Because I am nervous about missing stuff, so. Gotta check that. I want to check that kitchen again as well. Oh! This man attacks in a variety of ways. I give him credit. Now, he could just run and get out of here. But, I want to uh, explore a little bit more. Let's see if this one opens. Yeah, it's a little bit different. It's like a storeroom of some kind. Well, you know the deal, um, Guts. Ah! Ah, shit. Ah, damn it, there was a weapon I could use to defend myself there, but, well, we have to fend them off ourselves now. Get him! Get him, Gots! Ooh! <laughs> just, a, just punch him in the face! <laughs> oh, that's pretty... F that's pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie, he just, just, just gave him a real solid haymaker right there. Good stuff. Uh, right, so this is what we were going to do the first time. I wanna, I wanna give us a spin. All right. Here we go. Ah, blocking the door so we can't get in. Running. No, be quiet, man. You're meant to act like you're not there. Never mind. <laughs> I just like, just, just punched him straight in the face. That was awesome. Oh, this game is like, is 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 entertaining. I will not lie, everyone. This game, this game's pretty funny when it wants to be. It's good stuff. All right, let's have a look. See if there's anything of interest in here. I know, right? Terrible. Terrible. I don't know if there is anything under that floor tile in the kitchen, though. Like, it's possible that could be... Like, we've got everything we need. It could be a trap. Like, maybe there's just nothing ever meant to be there. It's possible. We'll go have a quick look before we get out of here. All right, let's try this again and see if there is anything... Or if this is just a trap. Ah, the pantry. There was a small open space. Hmm. I'm guessing that is... Maybe that could be a possible hiding spot in here. I don't know if I'd want to take said hiding spot. But I guess it's available. Well, it doesn't matter. We've got the statue and we've got the... Um, we've got the location of the Barrow's Manor. So I'm going to just... We just get the hell out of here. That has been very, very entertaining. Are you going to try and murder me, dog? Oh. Oh. Oi. Oh. 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 Ow. So as it turns out, the dog's still crazy. I guess this makes sense. Damn. 
going to think of something here, everyone. That is a problem. Before we do this, have a quick look at these various hints here. We've got an opportunity to do so. So that's all we've got. So we've got hint four. Endings except ending E are determined according to how many conditions were met in the last scenario. Makes kind of sense. One extremely important point is who is asked to investigate the statue in the prologue. Do not forget who was asked. If Helen is the protagonist in the last scenario... Something must be dropped down the shaft when deciding which of the three shafts is correct. Maybe I should look at these up beforehand. Maybe I shouldn't. I think I might refrain from looking at the rest of these until we continue on the rest of it. But uh, we should be fine. Alright. So, we need to think of a way of dealing with the dog here. I think we're about to ambush freaking um, Sizman with the umbrella. I like the sound of this plan. You can't open the door, by the way. Here he comes. Oh, shit. It's panic situation. Slam the square button. Donk. Nice. <laughs> oh, the animation of this game is just so, so late 90s. It's amazing. So mid 90s. Good times. So, right. Let's, let's think this through. So we've got a dog outside that's obviously under the influence of Scissor Man. We need to find something to distract it, or deal with it, or fight it, or I don't know what. Was there something maybe in like Barrow's um not Barrow's room in like the Brick's room I missed? I don't know. I don't think so. There's more pictures and stuff I didn't look at. Think about a famous artist. Hmm. Could I have missed something? We obviously need to find a solution to our problem here. Well, that solution is I don't know yet. And apparently we're not allowed to just jump down and, like, you know, attack the dog from the sky. We're not allowed to do that. We need to find a, a different solution here. I don't know what that's meant to be. Hmm. I'll have to have a look around here, I suppose. Right. Can I turn the light in here? No, it doesn't appear so. Maybe these are around here. There's a detergent on the shelf. Ah. That's what we... Shit. Damn. Can I use the box? Oh, I can. Ah, what you gonna do now, brother? You got nothing. Well, I guess not everything's 100% foolproof. Shit. <laughs> Alright then, so, powdered soap in hand. I think it's time for us to get the hell out of here. Little cabinet here I never got a chance to look at. I don't understand what you mean by that comment, but whatever. Let's get out of here, everyone. So I guess we use the detergent... To uh, blind the poor dog here. He's about to have a bad day. So it gives you a moment just to, just to quickly grab your item. And in a moment. Use it. Yeah. Screw you pooch. Poor thing. It's clearly obviously under the influence there. But uh, there we go. That's how we get our skate. And that is uh, scenario two cleared, everyone. That was oddly entertaining. <laughs> Just, I love it how 
a firearm doesn't do anything to the scissor man, but apparently Gotz's fists is enough to save the day more often than not. Does he know Chris Redfield? I wonder. Anyways, that's going to be the end of the video for sure. So thank you all for your company. It's been much appreciated. And I guess I'll see you next time in Scenario 3 for more wackiness. I'll see you then.